in this verse lord shri krishna has given the entire philosophy of vedic knowledge all questions and all answers are there in this one verse what is that iti te gnanam akhyatam akhyatam i have explained i have described gnanam all kinds of knowledge i have explained i have given to you guhyat guhyataram maya by me maya means by me guhyam the secret complicated confidential the most important right all those knowledge i have explained to you vimarshaitat asheshena shesha means remaining asheshena means without anything remaining that means complete i have not left anything i have given all the knowledge now what should you do vimarshe now you have to think you have to contemplate you have to discuss see what krishna wants all of us to do he wants us to think over he wants us to contemplate he wants us to ruminate he wants us to discuss right consult after hearing everything and then what krishna says is very important yatha ichasi after thinking after discussing after contemplating after consulting after ruminating over then you do as per your desire not that you do whatever desire comes to your mind you do what you like to do after thinking over what knowledge i have given to you so as i said this shloka gives answers to all questions that can come in the past present and future many times people ask this question very famous question why can't god stop us doing wrong things why god allow us to do wrong things why should he even allow us he should stop us no he knows this is wrong why can't he stop why why did he allow allow me to do this wrong because of which i am suffering some people even say you say god is like my father pitaham asya jagato krishna is father of everyone which father will allow the child to do wrong things see because i did bad things i did sinful things i am suffering people ask why am i suffering the first answer the vedic scripture give is you are suffering because you have done some bad karma then they say why did i do bad karma you did bad karma because you have misused your freedom then they say oh if there is a god and he calls himself loving caring compassionate god then why did he allow me what is the answer for this did god allow you did god allow you without helping you god now allowing arjuna to do whatever he wants to do not irresponsibly he has first educated arjuna god has educated arjuna and then allowing him to do whatever you like to do this is called responsible freedom at home sometimes parents or elders they tell go and do whatever you like to do no when can you tell this you go and do whatever you like to do you can tell this after educating that person like krishna is doing in bhagavad gita he educated arjuna he is saying that gnanam asheshena gnanam akhyatam i have explained to you all knowledge that means i have given you all education and now next what krishna wants just i gave you knowledge now you do no first you think over sit down 
think over contemplate ruminate discuss consult use your intelligence right and then do what you like to do so we need to recognize that we all have freedom we all have minute independence and god does not interfere with our freedom and independence but he educates us he gives right direction how to use our independence like now we are in the 18th chapter of bhagavad gita so far krishna has explained what if you do what what will happen what will be the consequences he has given all types of education and then allowing arjuna now you choose you see god gives you the freedom and it's very interesting to know why god gives us freedom i'll give you some example why god allows us to do what we like to do or why he he gives freedom imagine uh the government arrest some people saying that we came to know because we have some special intelligence government has uh, some special intelligence agencies so from that intelligence a- agency we came to know this person is going to do something wrong so we are going to kill him if the government just arrest somebody and kills that person what will happen there will be lot of protest there will be lot of doubts and questions people will ask how do you know that he was really doing like that how do you know you may be taking some revenge or now the child is born now the government says we already know from our intelligence this child in future is going to do lot of good work so i'll give bharat ratna award today only this child is born today so we are giving padma shri padma bhushan bharat ratna award today we are giving because we know that this child is going to do all the good things so god means he knows everything what will happen in the future our god means he knows what you have done in the past so like that government comparatively they know better than us they have got much better data much better uh, intelligence agencies right so if the government gives bharat ratna award now only so will you all agree to that will anybody agree to such things why don't we agree still not he needs to prove he needs to demonstrate that now when some when government announces bharat ratna award to somebody and tell look this is all what this person has done he has done this he has done this he has done this and all that when when the government tells and if that is all convincing nobody will have any objection oh yes correct this person has done tremendous contribution to our country yes he must be given this award right even when the punishment is given the punish if the go- if the government directly takes the person and gives him punishment without taking him through trial in the court do you think will people agree to it why they want to know like the government what is the guarantee that the government doesn't have any other motive yes what is the guarantee that government does not have other motives that means the government whether it is punishment or reward it is given after the action with proper evidences so why does god give you freedom let's say now god is blessing you right now god is loving you blessing you he's playing with you and the same god is killing somebody the god is uh, annihilating some demons and all those things and now let's say you are the third party and you are watching this so you will ask why is god so much laughing smiling playing with somebody and the same god is angry at somebody and why is he killing somebody so how do you explain this how do you explain this without freedom of the jiva you cannot say oh god is a autocrat 
with whomever he likes he will bless whomever he likes he will simply kill to such a god it is very difficult to develop love you may develop obedience and uh, surrender out of fear oh he is an autocrat he, he can kill anyone and he can bless anyone okay better let me be in his, in his good books maximum you can develop obedience and you can just out of fear you can listen to that person but vedic scriptures are not telling us that simply uh, surrender to god out of fear that is not the purpose of vedic civilization they are vedic vedic scripture telling us that not just surrender develop love for god and how can you develop love for god when he behaves in an autocratic manner without any un, uh, proper reason unreasonable god can be autocratic because he is supremely independent swarat swarat means 100% independent but even though he is 100% independent he is not behaving in autocratic manner he is still going by your free will so that it is very clear to everyone that god is reciprocating as per my freedom as per my freedom that means that person becomes lovable not because of his uh, autocracy nobody loves an autocratic person in this world right so you you get ample opportunity like when you read ramayan why do people fall in love with lord ram is he behaving in autocratic manner for no reason he attacked ravan because he told i am powerful person because i am powerful i will attack whomever i want that is not the ramayana story you see how lord ram he reciprocates with his devotees similarly krishna in mahabharat he is not acting in an autocratic manner he is acting based on your actions that means the living entities are given an opportunity independence freedom to do what they like to do and they can do what they like to do and based on what they like to do what they have done or what they like to do the lord will reciprocate like government doesn't give bharat ratna award before the child performs or before the person performs good activity now god is better than government because god is uh, he knows past present future so god may know already know that what and all you will do in the future but that doesn't mean he will immediately reward you he will allow the jeeva he will allow the jeeva to to demonstrate your nature what what you will do with your freedom god will allow you so that you yourself will come to know what you will do with your free will others also will come to know what you will do with your freedom like there is a mango seed right and now somebody like a elderly person who is more intelligent he says this will give you thousands of mango now i don't know i'm child i'm not ready to accept it so but when you put that mango seed in the process in the due course of time you will see how that mango seed will give you thousands of mango fruit so one thing is faith simply out of faith you accept the mango seed and say yes it will give me hundreds and thousands of mango fruit in the future another one is you realize yourself you realize yourself so here krishna is saying yatha ichchasi tatha kuru do as you like that means he is not saying uh, i have already decided and you simply go and do that you have no freedom everything i have already decided krishna in the 11th chapter told already what is expected in the future but even then he is allowing arjuna you do what you like to do after thinking i have given you education so god gives freedom after giving education 
Now you may say, oh, Krishna gave education to Arjuna, but what about me? I don't know. Nobody gave me, God didn't give me education. When God is speaking to Arjuna, he is speaking to everyone. That is a way of education. When, when the police is fining somebody on the road, it is not only to him the fine is given. It is everybody in the road. It is a lesson for everybody. Not only for that person alone. Right? You say you, another person is caught in, uh, in front of this uh, offender. Uh, then you say, hey, did you not see? Just now I punished him. What are you doing? No, you didn't punish me, so I thought it is not for me. No, common sense is when you are speaking to one person, it is for everyone. So when Krishna is speaking to Arjuna, he is speaking to everyone. This education is for everyone. So it's a very, very important topic we need to know why God gives freedom to all of us. Why can't he stop you in the beginning itself? For example, in the Mahabharata, right? In Mahabharata, when Gandhari was pregnant, she was carrying Duryodhana in the womb. And the news comes to Hastinapura that Kunti has given birth to Yudhishthira. Kunti has given birth to Yudhishthira. This makes Dhritarashtra and Gandhari greatly upset. Oh, she gave birth to a child and we have not yet given birth to a child. So then Gandhari, she hits, she, she attacks her own womb, her own pregnancy. And a kind of abortion happens. At that time, Vyasa Deva comes. Vyasaya Vishnu Rupaya Vishnu Rupaya Vyasa. He is Vishnu. He is Lord Vishnu. He is Supreme Lord. He, he comes. And he helps Gandhari to keep that Garbha or that pregnancy in hundred pots. And finally hundred children are born. Now he is Lord. He is a Supreme Lord. He knows if the Duryodhana is born, he will cause so much destruction to this earth. Why did Vyasadeva allow that uh, Duryodhana to take birth? It's good to know that Gandhari has already destroyed her womb. She herself has attacked it. Let it get destroyed so that the world will be peaceful. Why did Vyasadeva, who is Lord Vishnu himself, he is he's helping Gandhari. He is allowing, after knowing that Duryodhana is such a big demon, he is allowing Duryodhana to take birth. Why, why does God do like this? That's why I said, if you understand this philosophy, Yatha Ichasi Tata Kuru. So why, why did Vyasadeva, who is none other than Supreme Lord Vishnu, he is allowing, helping Gandhari to give birth to Duryodhana, instead of killing it. What do you all say? Actually, he advised Gandhari to that, uh, advised both directions that this son will destroy. But better you kill him. He but didn't advise. Here, yeah, Gandhari is seeking help. Where God helps, who help, seeks help. Gandhari is seeking help, so God is helping. And also, to uh, like, uh, 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 Pandavas, uh, greatness will not come out. So Duryodhana is one uh, victim. He is unnecessarily made villain because somebody has to be made great. <laughs> That's all. It, it's a had a desire to so it's a, perform some activities. Yes. So for that somebody Bakra has to be made. Some Duryodhana Papa. Everyone has to scold him, attack him because someday one Bhagavad Gita has to be spoken. So that means for you to speak Bhagavad Gita, somebody has to become a demon. That's exactly question is. This is what exactly people are asking. God, even after knowing it is wrong, it is dangerous, why God is not stopping? Till now, whatever I explained, no one is applying that. Free will God cannot stop. No, choosing like free will, whatever is given to you, right? Now let's say that intention and transplant, let's say you would have killed him, 
the question would have been raised that like the you told right uh, okay this child is going to become terrorist veteran kill the god's authority will be challenged and one more thing what comes to my mind is uh, now just because somebody wants to do a bad thing now you can't completely freeze his activities and you know like the god i think more believes in kind of a transformation rather than suppressing their action and make sure they don't do activities so there's a balance you gave an example right? child is born Hmm. Hmm. So we can see in the future it may transform also. So freedom of the jiva is respected. Okay, you are saying something. Every jiva has to express himself. Like yes. The, uh, otherwise, there is no point of. I mean, jiva means it has to express its freedom. So that's why the body has been given. Uh, how finally how it chooses to do, even though it has. bad intentions it has to be allowed finally to treat what it is in the <coughs> way the, the free will may change based on the incidences so, so the, the most will. important point many of you missed till now again i'll repeat god gives freedom so that you can express yourself god gives you freedom so that you can express yourself and now it is so important for us this point we need to understand you will be judged based on what how you express your freedom like when the child is born in this country imagine tomorrow we develop a technology artificial intelligence technology with so much data so much data you can collect some 140 crore population is there in this country and 600 crore population is there outside collect all that data and you can tell during the pregnancy itself with all that data that we have the child which is going to take birth will become a terrorist so now the government as soon as the child is born if that child is killed how many of us will be okay with that even though your data is predicting that this person is going to become like that maybe for one question then it will be against the constitution of our country what is that constitution every person who is born in this country is entitled for freedom he has he has a right to live and he has right to express after you give freedom after you give that opportunity if that person misuses that freedom then you put that person into jail nobody is going to stop you at that time in fact everybody will appreciate you government will also make but before even that person has expressed himself you cannot terminate that person yes maybe like one question like you told right let's say we develop a technology where we can predict the child is going to be terrorist and people will not appreciate maybe it's happening because people are living in this kind of thing if let's say we there was one more place where it was very common if you know well in advance it's going to happen we could have terminated people would have been accustomed it can be like more like people have accustomed for one kind of thing if there's a change people will still continue like for example today we are talking about artificial intelligence because we don't have intelligence enough intelligence but according to mahabharata there are people great sages they have sufficient intelligence they are not like ordinary people like us they are special people like vidura he told dhritarashtra the child which is born which is causing all the symptoms of a future destruction kill this child he didn't say if you don't kill i will kill he gave advice but the freedom was still given to dhritarashtra whether you will kill duryodhana or not so the whole point is what we need to understand is that freedom is given to jiva so that it can express, express itself it can express itself that opportunity is given always that freedom this is the only why the whole material world is created so that jiva can express its free will and when you express your free will how you express accordingly there will be consequences 
it can be good consequences it can be bad consequences but the question is why can't god stop in the beginning itself because god doesn't want to take away somebody's expression free will now you can say because of duryodhana pandavas went through so much of suffering this is a very limited understanding pandavas were getting sufficient opportunity to express themselves in those kind of a situation their swabhava is coming out how they will use their free will in this kind of a situation is coming out and duryodhana how he will use his free will also is coming out nobody is put into any trouble here everybody is getting opportunity to to express their free will like if you go to some fitness center you are getting an opportunity to to build your muscles so when the difficulties come when problems come like many times people ask right comes our skilling so many brahmanas he was killing so many devotees why god was not protecting at that time hiranyakashipu was terrorizing the whole world why god was not doing anything at that time now also so many people are going through problem why god is not doing anything many times people ask this where is god why god is not doing anything so god is not doing anything is a wrong thing it is like when you are writing exam somebody is standing there and asking that examiner are you a teacher and so yes i am a teacher don't you have any shape you are a teacher and students are struggling with that question paper what are you doing what kind of a teacher are you you should immediately go and give the answer to them see is this the way is this the way to understand the whole situation in the examination hall the teacher is standing not to give you the answer actually to help you to answer what answer you already know so why god is not helping why god is not helping when i'm going through problem why god is not helping actually god is helping you how is god helping by by giving you by giving you that situation god is helping you for pandavas it was actually a help when people like kauravas were creating all those problems so that they were getting opportunity to demonstrate their commitment to dharma they were getting opportunities to stand by dharma what they were doing with their freedom when so many difficulties came shakuni told so many times in that dyuta you compromise you tell lies you tell that i didn't agree for so many yudhishthir maharaj never compromise that means in the in the in the situation of provocation in the situation of enticement they stood by their dharma principles what did kauravas do whenever situation came they broke dharma so that means god is giving you freedom so that you can show this what are your principles so when difficulties have come to my life right now what should i understand you can express your freedom and if you express your freedom as per the principles of dharma you make advancement if you express your freedom against the principles of dharma you will degrade so in this way we should understand that we have freedom so that i can choose to upgrade or degrade so with my freedom in any situation i am actually i am actually empowered and now you are not alone duryodhana is also not alone arjuna is also not alone for duryodhana also krishna gave advice it is not that krishna gave all the knowledge only to arjun no krishna went to hastinapura he went to duryodhana he gave all the advice like the way he gave education to arjun after hearing everything from krishna 
what did duryodhana do he said arrest him and put him into the jail duryodhana told arrest krishna and put him into the jail and after hearing from krishna what is arjuna doing karishye vachanam tava i will do as per your desire i will do what you have told me to do so the two people have two different types of freedom god was equal samoham sarva bhutanam god gave fair chance to duryodhana also pandavas also but how these two people use their freedom it is different so that is how pandavas they won in the war and duryodhana lost and now despite this being very clear still people take side of duryodhana he is a very good person he was good he was intelligent he is not duryodhana he is suyodhana just see it is very clear the question paper is set the before question paper examination classes were conducted fair preparation time was given some people didn't study for exam they misused that free time by watching uh, you know entertainment and all these things instead of education they used that uh, time for entertainment some people sincerely used their freedom to study and when the result came at that time you are uh, criticizing what kind of university it is see they are partial they simply gave this uh, marks to this person and for another p- uh, person they have failed him so this seems to be very ignorant conclusion isn't it so again i am asking why does god give us freedom like he is giving freedom to arjuna here so why does god give us freedom to express our ideas our freedom to express himself to express yourself every moment you know you have been given freedom and you how you are expressing your freedom is being evaluated so we need freedom for that if we don't have freedom if god gives judgment without giving us freedom then it seems to be unreasonable unacceptable autocratic judgment it is because god gives us freedom and how we use our freedom our our uh, nature comes out and you have always freedom god makes so many facilities for you he sends acharyas they will come and give you advice like duryodhana and his party always had golden opportunity facility of listening to vidura vidura is a mahatma he was always giving good advice but did these people listen they never listened to him bhishma was there mahabhagavata he was speaking did they listen they didn't listen that means god made facility of bhishma and vidura for kauravas but they never took advantage of this who took advantage of vidura and bhishma pandavas took advantage vidura and bhishma they never stayed with pandavas like that sometimes some people are born in india they are born to sanatan dharma already god has made so many facilities and arrangement so that you can make advancement but some people are so unfortunate they behave like kauravas someone else some other country people they are not as fortunate as us who are born to you know born in india in vedic culture sanatan dharma they are all taking up this uh, vedic life and vedic culture like pandavas took advantage of bhishma vidura even though they never stayed with them but we are like kauravas we are everybody has freedom but how you use your freedom god respects you what does it mean respect means what respect means he, you decide consequences i have educated you don't blame that i have not given you education now you may say oh no i don't know like for example i don't know why i am suffering you see this also there is some misunderstanding in the people mind they say i am suffering for some mistake which i did in my previous life it seems what nonsense it is i don't even remember why should god make this kind of arrangement i should know no what problem i have done you see ev- every knowledge is not like this for example 
there are some things when you do you will know why i got the reaction for this for example when you keep your hand in the fire you will only know that it is because of keeping my hands in the fire my hand is burnt but everything is not immediate and direct result like that everything is not immediate result like same example sow the mango seed it is not immediately going to give you mango fruits it will take some time likewise at that time you need consultant you need experts to tell you what has caused you this suffering sometimes you are going through fatigue depression low energy right and when you go to doctor doctor will do scanning and he'll say you have deficiency of d vitamin in your body so is it uh, uh, perceivable for you will you perceive it like whenever you are not eating it do you know that why it is going to cause finally depression uh, fatigue and all these things no like today you smoke is it that immediately you will get cancer then how did they conclude that uh, smoking causes cancer because see i am smoking now right now you i smoked where is that uh, this one so the philosophy of the people is why should god give me the punishment after long long time he should give me you no know, immediately so that i will not repeat it are you are smoking right now are you getting cancer you are not getting cancer like that everything is not going to give you result immediately it will take time now that it is established that smoking causes cancer nobody is questioning it they are accepting it oh smoking causes cancer you eat lot of fatty items fat if the fat increases in your body and in the blood vessels so it will cause heart attack now when somebody says oh he got heart attack because of uh, so much of cholesterol in the body fat in the body go for walking you may say this is all blind faith why should i believe how i am eating on gulab jamun here fried in the ghee will give me a heart attack i am eating not today i am eating gulab jamun see nothing is happening to me so many sinful people think like this see i am doing so many sinful activity nothing is happening to me why should i listen to you why should i believe you so the same way you believe a doctor who is telling you something totally irrelevant he says that you eat lot of uh, uh, ghee one day you will get heart attack how what is the connection between my eating uh, ghee and my heart attack right now i am doing it nothing is happening to me why should i believe in you same way the shastras are giving you all the details if you do this what will happen to you and we are not ready to accept it but we are ready to accept here you ate so many things and uh, in one day in one week nobody is going to get cholesterol and going to get it accumulates and accumulates and accumulates and one day you will get heart stroke so similarly when you go on performing sinful activities one day you will face the reaction for it not every sinful reaction gives you immediate you know effect some will give you some will take some time but why am i telling all these things is you cannot say that there is no education about it the entire bhagavad gita bhagavatam ramayana mahabharata not only krishna is speaking he is personally coming and he is living in this world amidst all of us and that setting example how one should behave not only simply talking god is not the one who simply talks he walks the talk he comes as lord ram and he shows how do we live how should one live he is setting personal example then he is speaking he is making arrangements so that there are so many acharyas who are ready to give you ready to impart you knowledge and then he has given us freedom despite education despite freedom if he still complain 
that the why god is not stopping in the beginning itself why god allowed me to do mistake if the father knows the child is going to do something wrong why will he allow if if the child is saying my dear father i'll keep my hand in the fire will any father allow then why is god allowing again i'm asking you the same god question wants to, ex- he wants to ex- speak of freedom to express first year is uh, you know and i had a very different that you know don't look back yes you know, the child is frustrated uh, about it the ants answer to this question which can change our life if you know this god doesn't believe in doing good to you by taking away your freedom i can like the same question if the father knows the child is going to keep hand in the fire will not allow but whole life will you tie your uh, child's hands and legs and keep it with you is that the purpose is that what you are eventually telling god should do you you should tie your hands and legs and take away all your freedom so called protection is given to you god gives education tells child don't do this don't do this god also believes in something called transformation education transformation education means i should on my own come to the point of not doing it so for that you have to allow me you have to allow me to go through various experience first of all there is there is nothing called i died because the, we are not this body we are atma atma there is no mrityu there is no death for the atma the atma in multiple lives can go through various experiences and transform and become responsible enough finally to follow uh, in a responsible manner so this question is if god already knows one person is going to do a rape you know many this is, these are the questions people ask so if god they'll come and ask you logically does god know past present and future he knows everything right that means he knows that there is one rapist he is going to rape and he is still sitting quiet he is not doing anything he is not stopping why can't god stop how can he allow such a heinous activity to happen he should he should not stop so neither god is asking that person you should rape nor is saying you don't rape because one time stopping is not the real solution like the way government is doing you take him put him into the jail and again after some time send him out many times nowadays we read it they come out and they commit the same offense so this is not the solution the person has to transform education is available as we already discussed if you commit an offense there is a particular punishment there is a particular experience you will go through and that experience will awaken you the experience you go through will make you responsible it is like while t how did you all learn bicycle how can you now you ask the same uh, question you ask somebody who taught you bicycle my father taught you what a cruel father he was he was standing watching you fall and uh, hurting yourself is it so you are expecting whole life father should uh, ride bicycle for you so that you will not fall no father is standing there teaching you he wants you to learn bicycle and if that happens in between you fall sometime that experience will help you it's not that god is heartlessly standing he is feeling painful when he sees that you are falling down he is immediately coming and lifting you up like bhagavad gita krishna says api chet sudura achara sadura api mantavya kshipram bhavati dharmaatma when you do any dura achara i will come and quickly purify you i will help you i am available i have not left you even if you are the most sinful person i don't leave you i will still sit in your heart i will help you but eventually you have to take responsibility of your freedom express yourself in the right way this is the entire vedic philosophy and that's why krishna is saying vimarshaitat asheshena completely contemplate 
think and then act so the thinking is our responsibility acting is our responsibility but before you think and before you act krishna's education is available in the form of bhagavad gita in the form of all the vedic knowledge we are we are we have not been given independence irresponsibly we have given we have been given independence with all education so with this we'll stop here grantara shrimad bhagavad gita ki jagat guru shri la prabhupada ki nitay gaur premanande